bridge strength depends on the thickness of the bridge or the design. By combining different bridge types together, we can design a strong bridge which has multiple features. And these are the sketches I did before I um, did, built all my bridges because I didn't know what material to use so after I sketched them I thought about the material and I chose Legos because they're really easy to build. So my first so my first bridge is the main bridge which uh, I did one layer and two layer because I wanted to know if um, it, it depended on the thickness of the bridge so for the first one I did um, one layer bean bridge which held half a pound and it really surprised me because um, the two layer bean bridge held five pounds that's ten, five, ten times more so I, and why this happened is because of um, compression and, sh and tension compression means to shrink and tension means to stretch this is compression and tension in action and if too much compression and tension goes on the bridge, it collapses. And my next bridge is the arch bridge which held 40 pounds. Uh, this held a lot of weight and it really, it, it, it really stayed strong. So I think this is a good, um, this is a good bridge but it costs a lot. And this is the cable stayed bridge, which held the most. It held 70 pounds. And I think the um, cables and the big pillar in the middle really helped. And um, my last one is the hybrid bridge. You can see in the picture and also my model right here. Um, it held 25 pounds. And um, I, I used the one layered beam bridge, which just held half a pound, as you see here, and um, added all the other bridges. And a feature from the movable bridge, which made a um, hybrid bridge. It, as you see here, this is the movable part. Can you pretend the ship passed by, and can you close it up, and the car scope can go on. And then you can open it up again. And 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 why I think my hybrid bridge is um a good bridge is because um you can you can adjust the X material used. It depends on what's going on your bridge. If like trains and multiple things are going on your bridge, I would say increase the the um the X material used. So this is like a um, you can adjust. And this the, the, these down here are my graphs. The one on the bottom I made for the weight. Uh, I made the bar graphs at the bottom, which shows the weight, which is also a part of my hypothesis. Um, by combining different bridge types together, we can design a um, strong bridge which has multiple features, which is a part of my hybrid bridge, which is which makes part of my hypothesis true. And uh, those are my graphs. I did cost and um, weight. And my next thing is my conclusion. My conclusion is different bridge structures have different capacities and their own advantages and disadvantages. The beam bridge is a simple design and is cheaper, but it is less strong and not suitable for a long distance. The arch bridge has high durability, but it takes triple the time to construct and need and high maintenance. It, it, is, it is required the, the cable state bridge is suitable for long distances, but is very costly because of the cables and the material used. But the hy hybrid bridge is a combination of different bridge structures which has multiple features in it and it can be used in different ways based on the required cost and capacity. We can adjust the X material.